cactus and succulent growers. I'm Lynn. Welcome to Desert Plants of Avalon in the north of Ireland. And in today's video, I'm going to be repotting my Euphorbia Sudanica plant. And this is an awesome Euphorbia that drops all of its leaves during the winter time. And then during the springtime, and it comes back into growth again, it forms lovely fleshy fleshy chunky leaves and also has sort of gorgeous little green amazing little flowers during the late summer time. Now I'm going to tell you a bit of a history behind this Euphorbia sudanica. It might not look the most prettiest at the moment but as I mentioned it does sort of come all back into lovely leaf during the springtime once I start the watering back up again. Now this is a euphorbia I've had for a very 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 long time in my collection and when I first got it I was in my early 20s and this was a part of um, but this part here was used as grafting stock for euphorbia lacti cristata a beautiful cristata um, euphorbia lacti and over time the, the euphorbia lacti died back from the graft and it's because it's it's has to have a graft to survive because it's it's a variegated white one it didn't survive on its own but this graft here carried on growing and this is all of the the new growth over the years and it is quite remarkable i have to say a lovely sort of spiny variety and it's a, obviously euphorbia it's a plant from south africa so it's not cold hardy it's one that i overwinter here in my grow room along with uh, all of my other plants and many of my other types of euphorbias and then I bring it out into the polytunnel for the spring and summer months and it's desperate for a repot as you can see here this is the lovely one of the big big root coming up here and it is uh, it is root definitely I'd imagine quite root bound and it's I determined to get this started with a lovely repot this year it's one it's a plant that does to have loves to have plenty of sunshine and uh, also regular feeding throughout the spring and summer that really helps it to encourage the lovely leaves fleshy chunky leaves that grow then in the spring and summer and also the lovely little gorgeous green flowers and if you want to see a little video i've made on this euphorbia sudanica when it's actively growing during the the spring and the summer months with its lovely leaves and its gorgeous little green little flowers then they do go and watch a video that I've, I've made when this was in flower and I'll link that video up above. Do go ahead and watch it after this one. So this is long due overdue, I'll just step back so you can see the size of this euphorbia and uh, now it's time to get potting it up. Now I've got the soil here and I've got a well draining uh, cactus and succulent soil here and I've mixed in a bit of pumice with a bit of John Innes loam, John Innes number two and also a bit of grit as well and as you can see it's very loose soil this is really important when you're repotting cacti and succulents and um, obviously well draining soil is a necessity for these euphorbias because they don't like wet heavy soil where the roots can stay wet for long they need to dry out very quickly in between waterings otherwise they can suffer with root rot very similar to like how cactus can be and although this this plant looks very cactus like as you can see very easy to mistake this for a cactus because it's sharp but these are thorns they're not spines cacti have areoles i'll just show an example here of this parodia they have areoles where the spines come out of and new flowers emerge from these areoles these little cushions here that um, the spines come out are very different to euphorbia that have thorns they don't have areoles so um, just a bit of information about that if you're sort of new to growing cacti and succulents and not quite sure what is what so that's a little bit about this plant and uh, the soil mix and now I'm going to get potting up now I've chosen the next size pot up as you can see not too big of a massive pot when I pot up cacti and succulents when I repot them I don't like to go up in too big of a pot because if I was to put this up in a big massive bucket sized pot and there's a lot of soil in there as I mentioned they like to dry out quickly in between waterings and if there's excess soil it doesn't matter how well draining the soil is it can stay more wet than you know for too long so I like to just go up a couple of 
pot, a pot or two size up. It's a much more wider pot because this plant is sort of quite a wider, wider root system. And also it's much deeper, as you can see there. And I often get asked, and people say to me on my repotting videos, you say about only go the pot next size up, but cacti and succulents in their natural habitats grow in the wild and they've got all that soil, all, all that earth around them and they don't rot. Well, the difference is, is the soil in, in the natural habitats is naturally very well draining and also in their natural habitats, once the, the rain falls, they often go a long time without rainfall, then they'll suddenly get a lot of rainfall and they'll dry out very fast, even if they have a heavy rainfall. And they might not get any rain then for a long time. With the natural elements of the fresh air and the, the natural surroundings, they do dry out naturally. When you've got plants potted up in pots, like the especially plastic pots, clay pots dry out quicker. But when you have uh, plastic pots, it particularly do, they don't dry out like they would in the natural habitats as fast, even clay pots even. So you have to remember that. Sorry about the little um, orbs, guys. I think the light's flashing in here. <laughs> There's ghosts watching us today. And uh, that just, that's why I don't like to go too big of a pot, totally different to their natural habitat. So I just wanted to clear that up if you've often wondered that. Anyway, enough of my waffling. Bigger pot as I can show you there. Now apologies if the lighting isn't brilliant. I have a bit of a problem because I can't repot euphorbia outside in the polytunnel because it's too cold and as I mentioned they need winter warmth. So um, the, I've had to set up all the lights so I hope you can see what I'm doing okay. And I've got a little pot here. I'm not going to pot it up into that one obviously. This is to protect my hands when I'm, when I'm handling this from these thorns here and a little spoon. So first of all, I'm gonna take it out of its pot, remove these dried up weeds, and uh, then turn it onto its side. So it just come round. Such a tall plant that it's difficult when I'm, when I'm filming tall plants here, when I've got the, uh, the stand set up. If I go too far back, you're not going to see what I'm doing, so I hope you can see there. Ooh. May not actually need to use this pot, but I've got it handy to protect my hands if I need to. This is quite a easy one to um, handle. Squeeze the pot, as I say, it's been years since I repotted this, so this is going to need it. Pull it out, it's coming out very, very easy. Thank goodness, oh wow, look at that. And uh, good to check the pot. No problem there, so I can always reuse my pots. I always make sure I give them a good clean and then I can reuse them. Now, time to check over the, the root system a little bit here. And I've got this little spoon to check. Just check that you can see what I'm doing. There we go. And let's get in here. can't turn this round as I mentioned Vita to see this side unfortunately well this is really good I'm just gonna what I'm doing here the root system looks absolutely great I'm just gonna stop the camera and take it off the stand just to show you the roots a minute as you can see here the roots are absolutely great here and it's not believe it or not although it needed a bigger pot it's not root bound as you can see and this soil is coming off very loosely so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm just going to be like loosening up this this old soil very carefully without disturbing the roots too much and uh, then it means I can just place this into the new pot with all the new soil so um, just very carefully using the blunt end of this spoon here just to remove some of the uh, the soil and loosen it up a bit Now that's the root ball all loosened up and a lot of the older soil took away. As you can see, these roots are all nice and loose now. And I've put some soil in into the new pot there, about, a, about an inch or two, about an inch and a half of soil at the bottom there. So it's got lots of new soil for the roots to grow into. Probably a couple of inches I think I've put in, yep. And now I'm going to place the uh, Euphorbia sedanica in here and put the soil all around it. Now I tried to do it on the table but it's it's too big so hopefully it's not too grainy with the video footage here. I've placed this in here and now I'm going to be uh, putting the soil all around the sides of this. So this plant is so desperate 
for fresh soil. As I say, it wasn't really root bound, but it does definitely need a freshen up. I can't remember the last time I did repot this, but it was some years ago now. So it's got to love this soil. And it means when I start back up with the watering in April time, once I've took this out into the poly tunnel again in the April, when I bring all the plants out from overwintering, back in there again, it means it's had a month or two to uh, settle into the new pot before the new watering starts. So you want to make sure that you get all that soil down there, press it, press it down there. And I think the only difference with this soil I'm using now is I've got sort of pumice and grit. The other soil I use, I think I had the molar clay cat litter I use, but that's a grit substitute, so it'd be no problem. So happy days. I like to tap the pot because that helps to uh, push any soil firmly down the sides. Woohoo! That's the Euphorbia Sudanica all repotted in its lovely new pot. And as I say, this is going to really love this and it's going to put on a huge growth spurt this uh, upcoming uh, spring. And I just love these black awesome thorns here. It's just gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed the little repotting, guys. And um, if you haven't done, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. You can also follow me on Insta, Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. And uh, for more growing tips as well as regular blogs, check my website out, desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to wish you all, all oh, the sun is coming out, <laughs> an amazing plant-powered day.